Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? <clears throat> I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Not going to be a long video, just a short little live stream probably. Just now, heading out for my walk. Saturday morning, pretty cold out. I'm ready for spring, guys. I'm ready for some spring. Fixing to be heading into February. We have had snow here in April. So, it's weird. But, yeah, we've had snow here in April. But, hopefully we won't be dealing with any of that. Hopefully... We'll be kicking into spring sometime in March. Hopefully it'll start getting better in March. My plans for today, get my walk done, get my spin done. <clears throat> today is my deadlift day. And along with my deadlift, I usually will do another body part, which typically is my biceps i'll just do like uh, four sets of something easy for my bicep uh, just to give them a little bit extra workout because i'm not able to work them out really hard and heavy or anything because i got you know bad arms and that so typically anymore uh, saturdays are my deadlift and kind of just a little extra bicep day Used to be my full body workout day uh, a good month ago or so. I switched that up and uh, decided I just wanted to do deadlifts. So I work out my body enough. And uh, what better exercise to kind of give its own day than uh, deadlifts? Uploaded a couple of videos to the body beatdown. Go check those out, guys. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to support the channel. Matter of fact, not sure how much longer I'm going to be uh, on YouTube. It's uh, kind of one of the things I've been toying around with now for probably a couple of years. Um, my other channel, Mikey Sun TV. I put countless hours and time and effort into, and it's it's a failed channel. So I created this channel in hopes that I would get kind of some fitness, regular guy fitness kind of people in there, and and it would build and become a good little community. Well, it's going pretty slow. And I, I initially thought, well, I'll give it 2022. And by the end of 2022, if, it's, if it hasn't, you know, grown to where I feel like it should be, that's what she said, uh, I'll shut it down then. But I really think I got a couple of more videos in mind. And then that might be it for the channel. Or I might take it on into the spring and uh, incorporate uh, some cycling, real world cycling, not just spinning. Uh, some cycling, a couple of little routes and that in there to, to end it or something. It's, uh, it's going to be something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But I am pretty certain that I don't want to continue failing. I mean, I don't feel like I fail. I just feel like I do. <laughs> I do feel like a failure, but I don't. I just like to try. Mikey Sun TV, I tried until my little heart gave out. So I don't really feel like I failed at all. I just feel like, you know, I gave it my best and it was time to move on from there. Now, I do upload videos to there, just dumping videos. Matter of fact, I got a 
dump a couple over there uh, just to keep it going just to have videos going over there i don't support the channel i don't even put descriptions and all that kind of stuff and for the most part i don't even put thumbnails or anything anymore and uh the body beat down i you know i'm putting out videos and trying to share them on different sites and different groups and stuff and well you know things just don't work sometimes you know we're not we're not all meant to to be great i guess uh and this ain't a pity party i'm i'm feeling okay i feel you know whenever i feel like i've worked hard and i've done my best you know there ain't a whole lot more you can do so some people are okay and carry on like i did for a long time with their channels and they don't grow they'll get like two subscribers a year and they keep going and keep going and they think that's fine that's not me i just i don't feel like that i don't think that's success i don't think that's fun what i always said was you know i'm doing this for me it's fun i like doing the videos and all that stuff and if i never if my channel don't grow it's okay i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing well that was me just trying to make things out positive but in fact you know you're not really happy you're not really uh feeling good about your channel and what's going on you're frustrated but you're trying to be positive and that's me i try to be positive with stuff so like this uh, i'm positive that i just pooped myself uh, i don't know if i should take that off the video or not oh i can it's live stream hope you enjoyed that i did so uh anyway like i said i got a couple more videos that i'm thinking of doing a couple of uh product reviews uh, my gym equipment reviews whatever that i'm gonna go over and talk about i already did one last night about the titan compact leg press hex squat and uh I got a couple more I'm gonna do. I feel good about it though. Uh, that don't mean I'm never going to do videos again, but it means I'm not gonna worry about trying to support a channel. Because uh, that's where the stress comes in, is trying to make your channel successful. And not only that, my brand my diti brand uh that's stressful and i'm probably gonna stop worrying about that i realize the chances of me having a successful you know product logo you know whatever you know like nike or anything i, I realize that that's far-fetched and stupid and uh it's not gonna happen <laughs> so and it's unfortunate because I think that it's a good, a, a good image. I think the the DITI logo and all that looks good. I think it's, uh, I think it fits what it, uh, you know. I think it kind of fits in what it's trying to explain. You know, do it to it, get up, get around, and do it to it. You know, I think it it fits it really well. But that's just me. But like I was saying, uh, I'm not going to completely stop doing videos. Uh, if I do anything, it's just going to be, and I don't know why I would do this, because Facebook sucks. Let's face it, you get thrown in Facebook jail if you say, screw off to somebody. Then you're put in Facebook jail. So, you know, your, your Facebook is really up in the air. You don't know if you're going to be on there one day to the next. And, uh. They can go back 10 years and find something on you and, you know, put you in Facebook jail. So, uh, but anyway, you know, if, if I want 
going to be on a video, something that I might do. It'll probably just be on uh, Facebook or something like that. Uh, or if I can find another kind of site like Facebook, which I've tried doing before, but man, it's rough, you know, to find some place that's, that's really active and it's got the, 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 I don't know the word I'm looking for, the community, you know, that many people. You know, Facebook's the biggest entity on the dang planet. So, and uh, used to, I was worried about, well, all the people on my friends list, I, I need them to come over and follow me to whatever social media platform I go to. Now I realize, I finally kind of realized that that don't even matter because technically I don't really have much to do with the people on my Facebook friends list. Keep in mind, I've only got maybe 40 people on my friends list. So, you know, I thought, well, I want, I want those people to follow me over. But since we don't really connect or have much to do with one another, then what's that matter? You're going to ignore me, you know, over there, just like you do on Facebook. So, that, that's not even the issue anymore. This sounds like a negative post, but in reality, it's there's really positivity behind it. Uh, it's just, it's kind of, it's about me kind of almost putting less stress on myself and uh, expecting less of myself because you know, you live in a world where, you know, if this was 20 years ago at the beginning of all this, then maybe I'd have a shot. Maybe my my channels and everything would have taken off. Maybe things would be different. But it's oversaturated. You know, there's 10,000 50-year-old guys out there doing this exact same thing right now. Why are you going to watch me? Hmm. Now, if I had a following of 10 million people, then maybe I'd get a million of those people to watch. But I can't even, I tried friending people on Facebook a while back, a couple months back or so, and I ended up unfriending because it just gets on my nerves. I don't like seeing people. <laughs> I'm not real social anymore over the years, you know? And so it feels weird even, you know, having people on my friends list that I don't know. So it's a kind of a catch-22 for me. You need to have people on your friends list and accept people, you know, into your social media life for you to grow. But I don't like people. <laughs> so it makes it a little difficult. And every time I realize that, I kind of laugh a little bit because you know, it's it's funny. You know, you want to be the social media person. And not just social media. I want to be popular and famous in my own community. I think that means more. You know, that's where I grew up. That's my home. And that's another thing I'm looking at. Not worrying about online status and looking more into my community status. If I could, you know, get a, a building and get some equipment in there, uh, gym equipment and that, and have kind of a my own gym to where I could have people over and work out and train. And all that kind of stuff with people and, you know, offer my help and offer the equipment and kind of help the community out that way. You know, that could help further my goal with my brand. That could help me get out there in my community and be a positive influence in my community. Which, really, 
is more important and means more than all the social media fame in the world. You know, having meaning in your everyday surroundings should be more important than YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Twitch, and whatever else is out there that people are using. Uh, being a good positive influence in your community has a lot more opportunity for you and uh, to help others around you and build a good strong community. Case in point, just one little aspect here. I live in the South. The South is known for fried foods, eating macaroni and cheese on top of cheeseburgers and smothering it and more cheese and dumping a stick of butter on top of it drinking two liters of soda all day long you know the south is known for a garbage diet and way beast unhealthy people what if i could help to change that you know what if I could be a person that helps to change that and and uh, brings helps to bring a healthy lifestyle image to the South instead of the image that people have of us? It all starts with the diet, guys, and your mind has to be strong. If you have a weak mind, it's going to be real rough. I've been there. I'm getting better, too. Uh, I find myself stressing less and less during my week about, like, wanting something. And uh, you just have to learn to ignore it. You just have to brush it off and... Just ignore it, find something to do. When you get hungry, when you get crazy and antsy, grab you a gallon of water, jump on the, on the exercise bike to the treadmill, something, do something, go outside, go for a walk, jump rope, do something, work out, push-ups, find something to do. Draw, paint, do some photography, play a video game, do something, do some housework, go to bed. Go do something. Eventually, you get used to fighting that urge, and it's not quite as difficult. The most difficult thing is not eating healthy. The most difficult thing is not overeating and uh, eating junk food, snacking, that kind of stuff. Because how many times have you gotten done eating supper and instantly go grab a bag of chips and then go sit in your chair and watch TV? How many times have you done that? You're not hungry. You just got done eating supper. You're not hungry. You're bored. You're doing that out of routine. That's a learned response. You've taught yourself to do that. Now you got to unteach yourself to do that. You ain't hungry. <laughs> Grabbing candy bars and cookies and pies and ice cream and <sighs> we eat all the time when we're not even remotely hungry at all. Just out of habit. Out of boredom. So, anyway, guys, I know I got millions of people watching this, and, and I appreciate it. Hope you learned something. So, anyway, moral of the story is be healthy. 
and support the body beat down while you can because it ain't gonna be around much longer well the channel will be around forever as long as youtube's around but new content won't be and i'll figure that out when the time comes so anyway guys i'm going to continue my walk and then i'll get inside make me a nice breakfast today is my cheat day which is good news for me see you make progress you get to have a cheat day guys that's when you get to have a cheat day So anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Hope you have a good Saturday. Stay warm. Be active. Eat well. Take care of yourself. Be active. Again, do something good for yourself. Inspire, you. Inspire someone today. Inspire yourself. Stay away from religion, news, politics, controversy, garbage. And keep focused on things that truly matter. Okay? Get up. Get out. Get rad. And do it, do it. We'll see you later, guys. On the Body Beatdown. With me, Mike. Have a fantastic day.